Hello, and welcome to this edition of the CSIAC podcast series. In today's episodes, we'll be conducting a review of the authentication process for devices in FOG multi-access edge computing environments utilizing a wireless grid resource sharing protocol. We also invite you to check out and discover additional original information available on our website at www.csiac.org. The rapid growth of the Internet of Things, the development of different computing paradigms and wireless grids has resulted in the widespread deployment of relatively immature technology. These Internet of Things IoT technologies will primarily be connected together via fifth generation 5G wireless communication networks. These Internet connected devices, ICDs, can be deployed quickly with little infrastructure. This, however, creates many significant challenges for security designers. These environments should consider security from two main perspectives. One, the ICD and accessing clouds, and two, dedicated computing resources closely located to ICDs. The authentication of smart ICDs to IoT networks is a critical mechanism for achieving security on these new information system platforms. Now we'll take a look at various computing and networking environments. First up is FOG computing. The NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, defined FOG computing as a layered model for enabling ubiquitous access to a shared continuum of scalable computing resources. The model facilitates the deployment of distributed latency-aware applications and services. It consists of FOG nodes which reside between smart end devices and centralized cloud services. FOG computing minimizes the request response time provides local computing resources, and when needed, network access to centralized services. The characteristics of the FOG, proximity and location awareness, geodistribution, and hierarchical organization make it a suitable platform to provide support for mobility. However, a number of characteristics make FOG computing a non-trivial extension of the cloud, including edge location, location awareness, and low latency. The di diagram here represents an idealized information and computing architecture supporting future IoT applications. It illustrates the role of FOG computing along with networking building blocks of the cloud the fog and the mobile edge of the network. A wireless grid is an augmentation of a wired grid that facilitates the exchange of information and the interaction between heterogeneous wireless devices. This interaction is depicted in the below diagram. In the IoT, ICDs are expected to become active participants. They will be enabled to interact and communicate amongst themselves and with the environment by exchanging data and info sensed about the environment. One major technology component for a wireless grid is Edgeware. Edgeware is a new class of software applications that enable the connection of people, devices, software, and services 
in a personal cloud, which is supported by a personal cyber infrastructure. The diagram below represents the Edgeware Grid Core. Edgeware applications may enable different kinds of resource sharing and functionality. They are typically delivered as a service in the form of either gridlets, which are proprietary Edgeware applications, or wiglets, non-proprietary open applications. For a wireless grid to work, the grid core must be implemented on an intelligent machine with rights to control other edge resources. The core is extremely light and easy to embed on a wide range of different kinds of equipment. Users are allowed to share and manage digital resources through application of the architecture's eight core components which are specified here. Multi-Access Edge Computing, MEC, is an emerging ecosystem which aims at converging telecommunication and information technology services. MEC is a recent approach towards the extension of cloud computing capabilities to the edge of the network. It offers storage and computational resources at the edge, which reduce latency for mobile end users and utilizes comm networks more efficiently. As displayed below, MEC and next generation edge computing represent a subset of the architecture, which is similar to fog computing. Now let's explore the process of authentication in a FOG MEC environment with a wireless grid resource sharing protocol. An anonymous mutual authentication scheme is proposed between FOG users at the edge of the network and the FOG servers in order to establish a session key without disclosing the user's real identity. This involves a FOG computing-based security focus system, which leverages a virtual private network to secure the access channel to IoT devices through a challenge response authentication process. The wireless grid is enabled by grid core software installed on IoT devices. The figure shows the resource sharing protocol, RSP, which is the primary function provided by the architecture's eight core components. The RSP enables creating, joining, and subscribing to a wireless grid. Due to the processing nature of wireless grids for the IoT architecture, a standard process for authentication needs to be defined that provides for a network-wide cryptographic challenge and response mechanism. This standard should provide for the ability to uniquely authenticate ICDs to legitimate mobile access points and establish a wireless grid information element, WGIE, known only to the service provider from the RSP. The WGIE is a cryptographic key variable known to the IoT Wireless Base Register Authentication Center, the WBRAC, as a secured database that stores essential encrypted subscriber information the WBRAC plays a key role in the operation of the wireless grid IoT network as it manages the services to which an ICD has subscribed. Now let's explore various aspects of the wireless grid Internet of Things. First thing we'll look at is the authentication process. A mobile access point needs 
to identify an ICD. This function is handled by the Authentication and Authorization component, the AAC. This allows different policies to be made regarding an ICD's grid profile. In addition, the MPC is a scalable messaging and presence protocol that manages the availability of an ICD and the method of communication with that resource. The RMC is responsible for aggregating and searching metadata about resources within the context of authentication and works closely with the AAC and MPC. In the next step, the mobile access point begins an update value process. The WGIOT system responds by calculating new authentication values and challenging the ICD. A detailed series of steps is carried out. Various information is exchanged and checked in order to validate the identity of the ICD. Once the ICD has been authenticated, it proceeds to the authorization and encryption process. If any of the calculated values fails a comparison made by the mobile access point during an authentication procedure, the mobile access point may deem the attempt unsuccessful. It can then terminate the current procedure and initiate the unique challenge response process. If authentication is successful, the mobile access point can move on to authorization and message encryption, which involves scrambling the data signal stream within the WGIOT network as displayed in the figure. In summary, wireless grids and FOG multi-access edge computing environments are quite vulnerable to potential attacks or unauthorized access. Therefore, it is imperative that these new systems are carefully designed to minimize network vulnerabilities. This podcast presented the design of a generic authentication methodology called WGIOT for wireless grid use in an IoT environment. If you're interested in more specific details and information on this methodology, I recommend that you check out the associated technical paper on the CSIAC website. On behalf of the Cybersecurity and Information Systems Information Analysis Center, we would like to thank you for viewing this podcast. We hope you found the content useful and informative. If you would like to provide us with feedback or comments on this video, please visit our website at www.csiac.org, where you can also find additional content to review. Thank you. Did you know that CSIAC offers free monthly webinars featuring experts in the areas of cybersecurity, software engineering, modeling and simulation, and knowledge management? Come see leading industry professionals talk about industry practices and leading research. Make sure to visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars in order to subscribe to our mailing list and see when the next webinar series is available. There you can also watch previous webinar series to catch up visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars 